Folks, thanks for tuning in, and that's a new tune entitled Fox. I'm joined with John Taylor on bass and Steve Hoy on drums. We're a trio as part of a quintet. Of, that's, that's out of a new collection I started writing at the start of last year. We had a gig in April, and uh, due to the pandemic, it got cancelled. So uh, we decided to turn it into a recording project, and that will be one that will be released uh, hopefully before the new year. We're going to move on. Uh, this is a tune entitled Amsterdam, and, and I was sitting on the uh, the bed in Amsterdam uh, many years ago and thinking what a progressive place this is with the, uh, the open drug and prostitution laws and all that, and I thought I should try to write a tune around this. So I thought, well, uh, the most common cadence in music is a 1-5 is a progression, which basically sounds like this. So I thought, okay, how can I mess with this? Well, I will, uh, I will change the 5 chord to a flat 6 chord, and then I'll, I'll see where it... I'm sitting there with my guitar, and I'll see where that goes. So this is what we came up with.
Well, I've been very uh, fortunate to work with not only these great players, but uh, many others. And a lot of us jazz guys, uh, you know, we cross over into different styles of music, uh, country, funk music, uh, classical, in John's case, uh, tremendous classical bass player as well. Uh, but a, a lot of my friends, including myself, we, uh, we uh, delve into uh, Dixieland music. So I wrote this tune as a as sort of a tribute to, to all those guys I work with in the Dixieland world. It's entitled, My Dixie Friends.
this next tune uh, is called Sad Five. Now, it's about the uh, personification of a number. You know, in the, uh, in the media a lot lately, we've been talking of uh, the Black Lives Matter and uh, indigenous problems and stuff. And uh, so I started thinking about myself and going, well, uh, you know, I'm theoretically a privileged white guy that's... Uh, a father, grandfather, a husband. Uh, I have mortgage payments and car payments and uh, regular garbage pickup and all that sort of jazz. But this is hypothetically about a person that's born as a five and always wondered what it would be like to be a, a two or a nine or an 11 or a, a 286 or a whatever. But he was kind of sad that he was just born a five and really didn't know what uh, what the other numbers felt like. So <laughs> anyway, it's in five for a time, that's why.
Well, there's some comments coming in here from, uh, sounds great guys, Charlie, genius at work, awesome, Andrew, thank you, uh, thanks Charlie. Charlie was a, a, he's a fantastic musician and a wonderful instructor, I, I was very lucky to study under him. You want to scroll a bit more there, Nico? Let's see if anyone uh, <laughs> says something bad. <laughs> well, we'll wait for the next uh, view, and uh, <laughs> we're going to move on now. I'll tell you about this tune after we play it. tell you a little bit about our rehearsal the other night. You know, I have, uh, I had three, four, five hundred tunes in, in my uh, original library to choose from, so I wanted to see what wouldn't work. So uh, I, I pulled out 20 or 25 tunes, and within about, uh, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes, we sort of tinkled with every one of them, and uh, 
everything worked. I kind of knew that ahead of time anyway, because I've been working with these guys for 30, 40 years. So uh, that's how we, uh, in fact, we never really came up with a set list until about, about an hour ago. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we're going to move on with this tune. It's entitled uh, Gateway. Uh, many years ago, there was some sort of a contest. Uh, they wanted uh, somebody to write a, a tune called Gateway to Edmonton. Uh, I don't know if I even submitted the tune or whatever. I just wrote the tune. And the, uh, the imagery I'm looking for is sort of almost like a Planet of the Apes thing where you're canoeing 20,000 years ago down the, the North Saskatchewan River, and all of a sudden you come around a corner and you see the uh, peaks of the Stantec Tower, and uh, next thing you know, you're in this gigantic uh, city of Edmonton. So uh, when these guys start playing uh, at the end of the A section, that's when you start to see the uh, Stantec Tower. <laughs> so uh, here we go with this one. Thank you. 
Anyway, that was Gateway. I was I was going to say something about the previous tune, this one. Uh, the original title for that was, uh, and it still is the title, was uh, it's all about us jazz musicians having to overwork our brains and play all this uh, this difficult stuff and all these crazy changes and chasing score, chord scale relationships around and such. And uh, So the title of that tune was uh, Overworked and Underpaid. But uh, for most of us musician guys right now, due to the pandemic and the, uh, the government CERB program, uh, it could just about be retitled Underworked and Overpaid. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> How are we doing for time, guys? We're doing good. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, we're going to get a chance to feature Steve Hoy on the drums. It's a, it's a tune uh, entitled uh, Butter Your Bread, and it basically... Uh, if you have bread, that's great, but if you've got some butter to put on it, that's even better. <laughs> Thank you. 
folks, I'd like to thank you very much for viewing in on this. We're going to leave you with one last tune. This was written, uh, Steve and I had a band together many years ago uh, entitled Passport. That was the name of the band. And this was on that album. It's entitled April Flurry. Of course, it was all about, uh, of course, you, we live in Edmonton and uh, happened to snow big time that particular April. So I, I came up with this little ditty. Hope, hope you enjoy it. Thanks, folks. Good night. Thanks for joining.